Très en médiocre. Très en médiocre. Kwa matini ni Peter Njeroge Mimi ni mkaji wa Nakuru Town Niko katika Human Rights Na tukiwa mahali hapa Niko katika Wome Mori Hospitali Ambayo tumekua na kilio kikubwa sana katika kakumia Na sisi tumekua tuki kiomba hii hospitali iweze kufunguliwa wafanye kazi zaidi ya 400 wapo hapa nje ambao hawawezi kufanya kazi yao wako na waume wako na wake wako na watoto wako na mambo mingi sana yao lakini unakuta eh, hakuna kazi so, hata moja inafanyika serikali kuu iweze kuingilia kati kwa sababu haya ni mambo mabaya sana sisi tunaona ya kwamba mambo inaendelea katika kaunti yetu hospitali hii imekuwa iki, eh, hii hospitali inachukua wagonjwa kutoka kiwango cha chini mpaka kwa kiwango cha, 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 cha juu na kitu ambayo inafanyika mahali hapa ni uporaji wa mashamba na uporaji wa hii hospitali na wakichukua hii hospitali tunashindwa watakuja kujenga kiosk ama watakuja kujenga hoteli ama wataka kujenga choo nini wanatambua wanataka kuweka hapa so tungeomba hospitali iweze kurudishwa ili hao wafanyikazi ambao hawana kazi waweze kurudi ndani waweze kuhudumia wananchi wa Nakuru county na kazi iweze kuendelea na sisi tunajua ya kwamba hii hospitali ikirudi wakaji wote wa Nakuru sisi tunaweza kufurahi na tuambia Mungu asante kwa hivyo wale ambao wanahusika hata kutoka juu tunaomba serikali yetu kuu iweze kuingilia kati ili hii hospitali iweze kurudishwa leo hii oda ilikuwa imetoka na oda ilipotoka tuliambiwa kwanza tuweze kukuja mahala hapa ili hii hospitali iweze kufunguliwa so kwa hivyo tumegojea county commander ambaye alikuwa amepatiwa oda na alipatiwa mpaka E, koti ilimwambia ila akuja afungue e, e, hospitali ama e, e, court order iweze kutolewa kwake ili aweze kushikwa so kwa hivyo sisi tumemgojea hapa ili aweze kuja kufungua hospitali wa Jeff MCA wa ward hii ya Lenengai hapa tulipo ni wa memorial na iko katika ward yangu na siku ya leo nimesema nije ndio tuweze kusema na ya kwamba mimi naunga mkono kufunguliwa kwa hospitali hii wananchi wangu ambao wanakaa katika eneo hili ambao ni leader level wamenituma na ujumbe mmoja ya kwamba wakataka hospitali yao ifunguliwe. Tuko na shangamoto katika Nakuru County ya kwamba wale ama hospitali zile ambazo zilikuwa na kutumia na jamaa hapa moja ni hii ya War Memorial, nyingine ni Medhill na zikifungwa tutakuwa na changamoto kubwa sana kwa raia wetu. Na nataka kuambia ya kwamba mimi nakubalia ama nakubaliana na wananchi ya kwamba tufunguliwe hii hospitali na pia mimi nataka niwe mediator wa the two parties that is uh, the Nakuru County government led by our Ivo governor Susan Kiika and uh, the directors of War Memorial 
so that we can mediate the two parties and we come together with one voice that we can be able to demarcate uh, the, the, the land in two pieces, whereby we can give out uh, uh, part of the land to War Memorial and the other part of land to go to Annex Hospital. This hospital is open bid, is in a pair of services on the issue of Kwetu. Na hatu getaka mvutano kwa vile wakati uh, dovu wa wili wanapigana nyasi diyo zinaumia. Na wale ambao wanaumia ni wananchi hawa wakwangu menegai wod na maeneo mengine yote ya Nakuru County. Kwa hivyo, obila anguli moja ya kwamba ikiwezekana tuondoe hii maneno yote katika koti tuje tukae chini kama wananchi wanakuru the directors and uh, the governor and the team tukuje tukubaliane ya kwamba sasa vile sasa hii maneno yameanza kuingizwa siasa na hasa wakati huu ni wakati wa kufanyia wananchi kazi na kuwapea huduma kwa hivyo nigeomba ya kwamba tusiweke siasa kwa mambo haya tuitane the two parties me am led to mediate the two parties because I'm the area MCA na ningetaka hii mambo yote ishe kila wakati kwa vile hawa wananchi ama hawa ambao wahudumu wa hospitali hii if at all they go home with these uh, hard economic times there will be a very big problem to them so my request is the two parties come together let us talk let us reason to one uh, or each other so that uh, we open this hospital and we start giving services to our people kwa hivyo kama mjumbe wa hapa mimi ningeomba ya kwamba hata kama ni kesho tupatane tukae katika kikao tuzungumze uh, tufungue hospitali ndio wananchi wetu wapate huduma hatutaki watu wetu waende upande wa Eldoret na kule kwingine watagaramika sana wakati hii hospitali iko na vifaa za kutosha za kuhakikisha ya kwamba wananchi wetu watahudumiwa vilivyo kwa hivyo tusiweke tusiwe siasa kwa hii maneno tusianze vita za kisiasa katika hii maneno kwa vile this is an institution that is giving services to our people kwa hivyo yangu ni kuomba ya kwamba hata kama ni kesho tuondoe hii maneno yote kotini tuje tukae chini na tuchukumze na kuhakikisha ya kwamba hii maneno yote tumeimaliza Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, my name is Alaban Msundi, uh, my human rights activist based in Akuru County. And uh, this unfortunate development that we are seeing in War Memorial, uh, advanced by county government, actually is extremely unbecoming. Access to health care is a fundamental right that is enshrined in the Constitution, and we must respect it. We must make sure that any, any health service consumer access to health care. Uh, the drama that we are witnessing here now in the War Memorial, whereby um, the health care service consumers are being denied to access, is a violation of fundamental rights that are enshrined in the Constitution. On that note, actually, we, we condemn it with the strongest term possible, and we, we, we want to urge the county government to respect the rule of law, to respect the constitution, because that is what regulates all of us in the Republic of Kenya. Any law that is violated, uh, telling the, uh, the county government, um, making those advancing uh, gestures that violate the constitution actually is wrong, it's illegal, and it's unconstitutional, unconstitutional, and we condemn it with the strongest term possible. And I want to tell Mr. Maura, who, he, who has been championing this cause, to respect the rule of law. The court has pronounced the matter against uh, their action, and they must respect it, make sure that uh, the war memorial operations resumes smoothly without being interrupted by the conjures, by the police, and so on and so forth. That, that's my take. From, from my end, we, if there is further violation in that respect, then we shall file a petition in the High Court to demand those people who are violating those fundamental rights of the Constitution to be declared and fit to hold a public office. Because if someone violates the Constitution that he has vowed to protect, then that is, that is inappropriate. That person is unfit to hold any public office in the Republic of Kenya. And they should be barred permanently from holding any uh, any public office in the Republic of Kenya.